It's a celebration. It's um, 10 years ago, uh, an amazing music director named Aaron McGowan discovered me in the worst musical ever produced in the world called Hunchback the Musical. And um, uh, she said, wow, you should really sing at church. And I said, well, I don't know. She goes, you'll like this church. And I, I'll never forget, I showed up and um, the first time I was there, right in the front row was this legendary person called the Rainbow Lady, and she had rainbow puffballs all over her body and her glasses and her hair and her shoes. And, and I just thought, what in the world did I get into? And what I got into was this incredibly loving, supportive, accepting, open, spiritual community that embraces all paths. And so I started singing, and people started saying, wow, if you did an album, I would buy it. And I thought, what? So this is no joke. I sold all of my Star Trek toys, and I financed an album and put it out, and it's just kept selling and selling and selling and selling. And that was about 10 years ago. So I've done four since then. And uh, now I travel all over the world and sing and sell CDs and, and just bring uh, inspirational music with a message. And uh, it's the most profoundly humbling. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting choked up. Makes it hard to sing. Oh, this is a secret for the outtakes. If I'm crying on stage, it's not because I'm emotional, it's because I forgot the words. And it just looks like I'm really into the music. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyway, so yes, I, I tour all over and sing at these amazing events all over the world. And this is the first time that I've taken all of my music and brought it to a club setting. So, um, you know, my, my favorite musicians, my favorite venue, an amazing light show, amazing sound, and uh, a room full of people here to support me and be part of this live uh, DVD and uh, part of the live recording. So. Let's hope it all goes well. Who knows? <laughs> it's live. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, let's see. Aaron would probably know a good question to ask. Um, Let me think, Aaron. I, I don't know Stefan well enough. Oh, yeah. I want to hear him say a direct thank you to the fans. Yeah, to the just right so into the camera. What would you say? Yeah. yeah. What would you say to your long-term fans that have followed you and watched you grow? You know, there is, look in the camera up above. Oh, you're not talking to me, no, sorry. No, bringing the light around, so it's not so, you know. So I'll, I'll ask you the question again. Yeah, great, and just keep looking at you. Great. Okay, great, okay. great. It's a little weird looking. Yeah, that's camera. okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Soften it. There we go. Yeah, got it? That's cool. So what would you say to those people who, through the years, have supported you, bought your albums? and followed you, you know, followed your music and your career. Oh. I forgot the words again. <laughs> I'm getting choked up. <laughs> um, there's just no way. This good stuff, because <laughs> I can keep milking it. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Um, I would say that there's no way that I could be here without them. And there's an interesting thing that happens when I perform this music in that it is, it is absolutely impossible without the people who are there to connect to it. And it sounds woo-woo and strange and far-fetched, but it's like as they feel what it's about, I feel it more and it just grows and grows. And then it's the inspiration to write more and to always dig deeper to try to create a song that comes from a perspective that's fresh and familiar. And, um, and, and I'm just... Do you feel a responsibility to these people? You know, I always, I always try to make the next album twice as good as the one before. And I'm very protective of my fans a lot of times I have people that try really hard to get me to say, well, just send your fans to our site and sign up and you can be in this running for this award. And I just, I don't want to do that. And, and I, f I respect them as much as they respect me. I don't, I don't spam and send e millions of emails out, except for this show, I did. Um, but, you know, if they're interested in me, be my friend on Facebook. And it's not a fan page. It's my Facebook page, and we're friends. In fact, I don't like the word fan because it, it 
suggest separation, and there really is none. So um, I just have friends all over, all over the planet. And I keep slapping my hands on my leg, which is really distracting. I meant to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, sit on my hands. <laughs> but Bruce is listening, so. Okay. Um, let's see, what else would be, what, what would people want to know about you that they don't know going into night show? Oh, that's a great question. I have a wicked sense of humor. And most of the time when I'm singing in churches, they look at me and they think, that is, you know, he's so spiritually grounded and he must just go home and meditate all the time. And, and, uh, and I just, when I get a chance to do a concert, um, I get to share a lot of my humor with people and show them that I don't take myself all that seriously. And uh, uh, we'll see what happens tonight. I'm trying to contain it, but you know, I'm paying these musicians a lot of money, so no jokes, all music. <laughs> all serious. All serious music, because i got to get my money's worth out of them. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so, so what about the musicians? I mean, how'd you find them? What, what do they bring? Um, I've never worked with a group of people that were so committed to the, to the music, to, the, the, to what we're trying to do. No one is up here to showboat and to be a star. They're he here to bring the song to life. And uh, they're all people that I've worked with uh, throughout the years and at different churches and a special kind of uh, word of gratitude to Jonathan Kingham, who's actually on stage playing right now behind me. And, or is he? He just walked in. Oh, good, good, that's Jonathan, okay. Uh, he, uh, he actually signed me to a record deal and he just believed in me, he believed in the music and we've been writing tunes together and uh, so that was the core. I didn't wanna do the concert without him. And then uh, there's David Loy, who is the uh, 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 music uh, pianist at uh, Seattle Unity. And he uh, has a studio and a great musician and records his own albums. And uh, the drummer, John Stout, uh, is the drummer at Seattle Unity. And he's just incredible and has so much sensitivity. And uh, two guys from my band, the Dudley Manlove Quartet, which is a band that we do lots of corporate events. It's uh, Steve and John, and they're just great musicians and great friends. And then Holly and, oh darn it, Holly and, Becky. I'm going to start over. And there's Holly and Becky and Aaron who are singing tonight. And uh, they, when they heard about the concert, they said, we want to do this. Can we do it? I'm like, absolutely. The more the merrier. And, um, and now there's so many people on stage, we can hardly fit them all. And then there's uh, a new friend, Brent Hages, and he's playing the oboe. And he brings so much to the music, which you'll see. And then Miriam Shames, who played cello on almost every record I've done. And she's really, really incredible. And I remember the first time we recorded her, she came into the studio and the cello was worth more than my house because it was some antique cello that I was like, and she just lay it on top of the piano. I'm like, girl, you better, you better take care of that cello. And she's like, whatever. But it's great. Is that good? Did I miss anything? Good question, Bruce. Yeah, a great question. Yeah, yeah. And I guess I, what I'm really excited about the triple door is the lighting and the sound and just the whole ambiance because it looks like this fabulous, you know, amazing showcase place, but you're so connected with the audience. They're literally right at your feet and, uh, and you can just look out and see everybody. And I, I, I love that about this, this room. So uh, let's say that you're a person who's looking at this video afterwards. What do you hope um, that this video will do for people? What, oh. Well, you know, we're, we're, we're filming this video for an HBO special. Uh, okay, NBC. Okay, okay, it's YouTube. Okay, the truth is we're making the video for my mom. Can I do that again? Because I looked in the camera too many times. Yeah. Yeah. That was fine. Was it fine looking in? Okay. Um, the real reason I'm making this, uh, excuse me, because I'm not making the video. Um, the real reason that... Um, there's a wonderful person, and her name is Kimberly Reen. She saw me sing in Kansas City, and I did a concert there, and it was nothing like this. It was just me and a pianist and, and a room full of people. And, and she sent me an email, and she said, wow, your, your music is so powerful. You're not, how are you gonna reach more people? You can't do that just singing in a little church. And so I always said, great, you fix it. And she's like, okay. 
And so we've worked for years and she's been my marketing director and she'll send out these things and they'll be so woo woo. And I'm like, no, you got to cut it down. I'm not that woo woo. Stop it. Make it more real. And, and, uh, and then uh, we decided just the next logical step to get the message out was YouTube. How do we do that? Put it on YouTube. Well, there's tons of pirated videos of me singing on YouTube, but the quality is not what I want to present to the people who listen and share in, in the music and to take it out of the church and get it out to people who really need to hear it and know that it's even there because we don't you know a lot of people don't know that there's a spiritual organization that embraces everybody gay straight transgendered you know republican <laughs> it, it doesn't matter um and uh yeah so youtube that's what we're trying to do get it out and get people to see it and and um know that it's available how about one more um thanks to the people here tonight who came out yeah to, to everybody who's here in the theater tonight a, an amazing thank you to you um I, I just this is a dream come true for me that's it i, I think that's it